Section 1.11, the Antif input-output models. Suppose the open sector of an economy, the sector that does not produce outputs, wants the economy to supply it with goods, products, and utilities with monetary values. The column vector D that has these numbers as successive components is called the outside demand vector. Since the product producing sectors consume some of their own output, the monetary value of their output must cover their own needs plus the outside demand. The column vector X that has these monetary value numbers as successive components is called the production vector for the economy. By multiplying X by the consumption matrix C for the economy, whose columns are the inputs required for each output, we obtain CX, the portion of the production vector X that will be consumed by the productive sectors. The vector CX is called the intermediate demand vector for the economy. Once the intermediate demand is met, the portion of the production that is left to satisfy the outside demand is X minus C of X. So X is how much the production sector is producing, they're consuming C of X, so what they have left has to meet the outside demand D. So we will uh, conveniently rewrite that as I minus C times X equals uh, D. You can imagine the X as factoring out because uh, the identity times X is just X and then I minus C. The matrix I minus C is called the Leontief matrix and I minus CX equals D is called the Leontief equation. Let's do an example. How about we consider the economy described in the table? We have the provider, manufacturing, agriculture, and utilities, and we have the uh, input required per dollar amount, per dollar output. Suppose that the open sector has a demand for $7,900 worth of manufacturing products, $3,950 worth of agricultural products, and $1,975 worth of utilities. Can the economy meet this demand? And if so, find a production vector X that will meet it exactly. So we need to write out our matrix C. So we can get that just by reading off these values over here. Those are the costs for everything. So that's 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. And then we don't know what X is, so we don't we don't know how much we have to produce yet. So we'll call that X1, X2, and X3. And we know what the demand is. They just uh, told us the open sector wants this amount. So that's 7,900, 3,950, 1,975. So the problem is figuring out how much the production sector has to produce in order to meet their own needs and satisfy the demand at the same time. So let's uh, write what I minus C is. Because remember that's our uh, equation. It's I minus CX equals D. That's what we're going to be writing out. So if we take I minus C we get 1 minus 0.5 is still 0.5. Because remember, i is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So 0 minus 0 0.1 just gives me minus 0 0.1 and minus 0 0.1. And then 0 minus 0 0.2 is just minus 0 0.2. And then 1 minus 0 0.5 is still 0 0.5. Then 0 minus 0 0.3 is uh, minus 0 0.3. And 0 minus 0.1 minus 0.1 minus 0.3, and then 1 minus 0.4 is 0.6. Okay, so this is I minus C. Then we multiply that by X. And that has to equal D, which is 7,900 in this case. 3950, 1975. Okay, how about we write this as an augmented matrix so that we can reduce it and solve for x. So we'll write 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1, 7900 minus 0 0.2, 0 0.5. 
minus 0 0.3, 3950, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.3, 0.6, 1975. Okay, let's start reducing that. How about we multiply this by two in order to get a leading one, and then we'll add suitable multiples of that top row to these two to get zeros over here. So we'll get one minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.2, 15,800. 0 0.46 minus 0 0.34 7110 0 negative 0 0.32 0 0.58 3555 Okay, we're making progress. We got a leading one. Let's keep going. I would like to get a leading one over here. So I'll divide this row by 0.46 and I'll eliminate this negative 0.32 by multiplying the resulting row by 0.32 and adding it to the bottom. So I'll leave my top row the same. I'll get one minus 0.2 minus 0.2, 15,800. And I'll, but I'll get my second row, 0, 1, and uh, I'll rewrite it as a fraction just to make things a little bit easier for myself. So minus 17 over 23, and 35, 5, 500 over 23. And my bottom row becomes 0, 0, 79 over 230. One nine five five twenty five over twenty three. All right, well, it's not the most pleasant thing in the entire world, but we can do it. We'll divide this row by seventy nine over two thirty, leave the others the same, and then we'll have a leading one, and we'll be in row echelon form. So we'll have made some serious progress. So one five eight hundred still. 0, 1, minus 17 over 23, 3, 5, 5, 5, 0, 0, over 23. Hopefully I have the right number of fives, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. And my last row becomes 0, 0, 1, 2, 4, 7, 50. Okay, cool. So now we just need to get zeros above, and then we'll be in reduced row echelon form. So let's get a zero over here. We'll add a suitable multiple of my second row. So I'll get one, uh, zero, minus eight over 23, and four, three, four, 500 over 23 and I'll reproduce 0 1 minus 17 over 23 3 5 5 500 over 23 and last but not least 0 0 1 2 4 7 50 okay just need to get these two zeros so I uh, just add um, suitable multiples of 1, so I'll just multiply by 17 over 23 for my second row and 8 over 23 for my first and add it, and I'll get 1, 0, 0, 27, 500, and then 0, 1, 0, 33, 750, and then 0, 0, 1, 2, 4, 7, Five zero. Oh, I forgot my lines a couple times, but I don't really need them. It's okay. Just to remind you that the matrix is augmented. Okay, so that means that I get my x vector equal 
to 27,500, 33,750, 24,750. So this means that this is what the production sector has to produce in order to meet both their own mint demand and the outside demand. Since we were actually able to reduce this matrix and find X, the answer of course is yes, the economy can meet this demand. In the case where an open economy has n product producing sectors, instead of just three like we were looking at, the consumption matrix, production vector, and outside demand vector have this generalized form, where all of the entries are now negative, and the uh, CIJs are the monetary value of the output of the ith sector that is needed by the jth sector to produce one unit of output, that's our costs. XI is the monetary value of the output of the ith sector, that's what they need to produce. Uh, di is the monetary value of the output of the ith sector that is required to meet the demand of the open sector. These are demand for the open sector. If C is the consumption matrix for an open economy, and if all of the column sums are less than 1, then the matrix I minus C is invertible, the entries I minus C inverse are not negative, and the economy is productive. We won't prove that, but we will use that. As an example, the column sums of the consumption matrix C in example 1 are less than 1, so I minus C inverse exists and has non-negative entries. Let's use a calculating utility to confirm this and use this inverse to solve the linear system in example 1. Remember, we have I minus C equal to 0.5 minus 0.1 minus 0.1, minus 0 0.2, 0 0.5, minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.1, minus 0.3, and 0.6. So let's uh, see what I minus C inverse is using a calculator. So I'll grab my handy dandy calculator emulator. I'll go to second X inverse to get to the matrix menu, and I'll go and edit uh, A. I'll call A I minus C. So that should be a 3 by 3 matrix, and I'll put in 0 0.5, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1, uh, minus 0 0.2, 0 0.5, minus 0.3, minus 0.1, minus 0.3, and 0.6. Okay, while I'm at it, how about I go back to the matrix menu, and I go and edit, uh, I'll call D my demand. Let's remember a 3 by 1, and it was given by uh, 7,900, uh, 3950 and uh, 1975. Oops, 75. Okay, so let's quit out of here. I'll go and I'll grab my matrix A and I'll take the inverse of that. Okay, so let's put my calculator back for a second. I'll write out what our inverse was approximately, or I minus C inverse, was 2.65823, 1 1.8983, 1.39241, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924, 1.13924
So that should be approximately this matrix right over here times D. So that's 2.65823. One point one three nine two four one point zero one two six six. I don't know why I'm writing it the other way this time, but I am because I can. One uh, three point six seven zero eight nine two point five one. No, it was two point one five one nine zero. 1.3, I guess sometimes you have to spice things up. We'll multiply that by 7,900, 3,950, 1,975. Okay, so Let's see what we get again using our handy dandy calculator emulator. So let's pull it out. This time, how about we uh, take a inverse. So I will go back to matrix, grab a, invert it, and I'll go back to matrix and grab a D and multiply it. Oh great, we got exactly what we got in the previous example. So that's really good. It kind of uh, validates exactly what we did in both cases. It kind of makes me think that I didn't typo in my calculator and that I hopefully didn't make a mistake when I did the previous example.